Discord, I was like, why not? Let's do it. I need some units practice before Nap Town. Uh, we should be at yeah, Nap Town. Nap Town? Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, if you're looking, I guess, yeah, tilt it in the middle there. If you're uh, if you're looking for something a little closer to Detroit uh, in June, uh, seven through the ninth, there's uh, an event called Combo Con. Yes. Uh, I'll be uh, I'll be streaming that with a little bit of help, uh, but uh, I believe we'll have Unis and uh, well I mean we're, we're gonna have like ten games it's gonna be three day weekend we got special guests coming in yep um, 
and uh, we might be getting an even even broader audience this time around because we are enlisting uh, some inside help to get more people in the armed forces watching. Yeah. Uh, since the entire weekend is basically a fundraiser for them. Absolutely, it was a great event. Unfortunately, I missed it last year. I think I was. It was pretty cool. We got yeah. uh, we got Wooly from Super Best Friends, yes. well, the now defunct Super Best Friends, and uh, Kenny from Yo Video Games to uh, awesome. come in and co-commentate. Uh, rumor has it that Wooly <laughs> is coming back. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm pretty sure that was announced 100%. Right? I don't know. I uh, saw it on the Facebook. <laughs> I saw a picture on the Facebook. All right. All so. Right. But uh, we also have um, Lil Mills. Yes, Lil B Mills is showing up yes. as well. So and we'll be attempting to live stream his concert. That'll be sick. Yep. Definitely um, a all, fan. All part of the proceedings. Yeah. But uh, you'll be able to catch most, if not all, of that on uh, Matchstick Melee. So we got a a bigger, better venue this year and lots of space to do it in. Oh, so it's not in that VFW hall like it was last year. Not the same one. It is still in a VFW. Okay. Uh, but yeah, not the not the one out in the middle of nowhere. Well, it's near Alma area either way. I left it right next to Or at least that's where. Well, for sure, Alma Con was there. I was up there, and that was like my first taste of the the Combo Con uh, experience. So. Bummed I missed out on it last year, so definitely yeah. making sure I'm going to make it. I feel like it would definitely be a good good opportunity, yeah. that'll, and that'll be a, a, a really awesome opportunity uh, to support the stream as well. Uh, yep. That's when we uh, usually go through the, the 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 effort of producing and then uh, making available the Magic Melee T-shirts, uh, which uh, yeah. Uh, Every $30 donation during that stream will uh, will come with a Magic Melee t-shirt. Nice. Uh, as long as we can contact you in some manner after the uh, the stream weekend is over, uh, we will be able to find you and then send you uh, a not wrapped in a bomb t-shirt. <laughs> not wrapped in a bomb. 100% not 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 bomb wrapped. I'm gonna hope not. <laughs> No vampire You're not gonna get in bomb there. wrapping paper. Yes, at least. exactly. All right. Seems like we have our next competitors. Emma versus Jaeger. All right, Emma, raise your hand, please. Emma, raise your hand, please. All right. Cool. We have a Merkaba mirror by the way. Oh, so that'll no. be interesting. Noodle arms all over the place. <laughs> so Emba has been playing a while, and then, uh, oh no, I'm brain farting on the other guy's name. Oh, it's, uh, Jaeger. Jaeger, that's right, that's right. I was talking to him earlier, it's his, uh, I think it's his first Unist competition. Oh, all right. playing a little bit. Um, fair enough, fair enough. So I figured, why not? Got it on sale just before the Evo announcement. Found out it was coming to Evo. Got really excited about it. Swap signs, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess I was wrong. We're gonna get an Elk Moon. We're gonna get a Mercado. Try to make the read. Someone lied to me today. People are good for that. Buttons are set, ready to go. I don't remember how If it is, it's going to truly sick now. Pretty interesting map shot. Yeah, you guys are good to go. Yeah, don't, don't wait on me. You guys go ahead and do it. I'm a mess a lot of cool abilities. I'm not familiar with them, but I know they're from units. So I'm more fascinated by them. Um, yeah, I just like his dangly arms. We need big western recovers, especially in this game. We need to call the space. I don't, I don't play. I just like watching. Cool, nice little, uh, like, set plays on it. Fighting Angry Gumby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
18 people. Nice. Yeah. Nice practice. Yeah, because when I, I signed I mean, up last night, and I think it was like 12 people when I signed up. I mean, considering everything else that's going on in the in the area today, yeah. I mean, God Likes Saturday, and oh, um, wow. uh, I believe Queen City Battles is going on in Cincy. Oh, uh, God Likes Saturday going on today, too? I believe so. What time does that start? Uh, I probably started at noon. Holy smokes. Yeah. I didn't know I was in such a hot pot of fighting games going on. Oh, dude. Uh, if anyone's interested at all, make sure to tune in tomorrow for uh, Tekken Caliber Crusade. Okay. That's uh, coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. We're going to be doing an entire day of Tekken and Soul Caliber from okay. the past to the present. Uh, Ooh, that yep. cool. Starting off with Tekken Tag. Okay. Uh, going into Tekken 17s. Uh, we'll work Soul Caliber 2 in there. Okay. And then go to Tekken 7 singles and Soul Caliber 6 singles. Nice. That'll be a fun day. Yeah, well, And that'll all be coming to you from uh, Close Quarters social gaming club in the heart of downtown Columbus. Okay. Uh, if you've never been there, they've got a really nice stream set up. Uh, and oh, it, it's just an awesome place to hang out and watch. For sure. All of us did, uh, we did Evo Watch Party last year, uh, so we all got to see Sagat and G get announced. And, and That's fun. It was awesome. But yeah, yeah uh, they can broadcast whatever's going on uh, on the internet like on Twitch to eight different rooms in the building. Okay. There's tons of alcos for mini tournaments and the, uh, like I said, the, the stage for streaming is uh, next level. We've got giant sound boards and, and ring lights and, and all that good stuff. So really nice production oh, yeah. going on out there. That's it's cool. also uh, one of the homes of Killer Queen. Oh, really? 
Really? They, yes. You got a Killer Queen cab that out there? Is the, or, that, it's like the original spot where Killer Queen was conceived and birthed. Where is this again? Uh, it's called Close Quarters. Close it's Quarters. 480 uh, Town Street mm -hmm. in Columbus, Ohio. Okay. Go Columbus. Yeah, uh, Columbus uh, actually fields a really strong dumb B game, and uh, they have gone to nationals several times now at this point. Wow. Hey, I didn't know that I was so close to a killer queen setup. Yeah, let's man. Go. Yeah, Columbus will surprise you. Yeah, that that actually really surprised me that there's a. We have, we have a you thriving we have a thriving weekly scene as well. Right, absolutely. Uh, Monday nights is all Street Fighter Five from okay. 16 Bit Bar and Arcade in downtown Columbus. Uh, Tuesday nights we do a sort of alternating bi-weekly between uh, so many games. Okay. Uh, so it primarily it alternates between Soul Calibur Six and Tekken Seven, um, but then uh, we also work in on Soul Calibur nights. Uh, Blaze Blue, uh, the, the latest one, Tag. Um, okay. Power Rangers, Battle for the Grid. Uh, no, sorry. And then on uh, Tekken 7 nights, we also run simultaneous Street Fighter V tournaments. Okay. And uh, I know there's something else. Oh, and uh, Smash as well. Nice. Man, Columbus. Yep. Putting in work out there so for the FTC. Wednesday's currently a dead day. But right. uh, Thursday night, there's Bursts and Brews at right. level one. I've seen that, yep. Uh, that's your your Unist, your Dragon Ball, your mm -hmm. your, your J Fighter, and your old man games. Right, 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 right. And then uh, uh, I believe there's also no, I could I, I forget if it's Thursday or Friday because I don't really frequent it. But um, there's another uh, place in Columbus called Game Arena, and okay. they host a very large Smash Brothers Ultimate Tournament every okay. uh, every Thursday or Friday. And that's pretty popular. I do need to make it out to a burst of bruise one of these times. I keep seeing it. Like, well, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to come for sure. Yep. One day, I'm going to head out to one of those. That sounds like fun, too. Oh, yeah. And uh, coming up uh, down the line, uh, obviously, we mentioned Clutch. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, Combo Con as well. Uh, but you'll also actually be able to see Magic Melee doing uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4 and Marvel vs. Capcom 3 at uh, Combo Breaker this year. Nice! Congratulations Thank on that. And we will also... I'm, I know I'm forgetting one. Maybe. Oh, right. The home the home regional. Talk uh, to Erebon no Gameu. Uh, it's our 11th regional uh, that we uh, ever held in Columbus, Ohio. Okay. And that is going to be 23 different tournaments in one day. 23 different. Which includes a mystery tournament, uh, Power Rangers, Guilty Gear, Smash Ultimate, Melee, ever, like all the uh, Super Turbo, right. Vampire Savior. It's a lot of games going yep. on for a regional. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to try to spread it out a little bit more next year, but that's going to be at Coffee Underground, which is an amazing venue okay. uh, under a church on uh, Indianola on the really? OSU campus. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a, the, the church basin has been converted into a non-profit coffee shop, and they are nice enough to allow us entry and to uh, do our thing in there. Nice. Yep. And on a coffee and, shop. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. And it's got a secluded separate room for the streamers and the broadcasters. Okay. And, uh, big old stage, like above everybody else, so that everyone can watch the action and the players can be a little isolated. Wow. Um, and it's just awesome. Yeah, you guys got a lot going on out here. You sure do. You go to Columbus more often. Build that scene, baby. Holy smokes. Wait. Oh, I guess I gotta go. Oh, I'm right here. And I guess I'm going on stream now. Okay. That's all right, man. Those are 
quite the those are quite the shades we had there for zero. Hey everybody, I'm Felicia, aka Cat Girl Princess, here to commentate for you this year at the awesomeness that is gaming adventures. Scootaloo. Gaming adventures. Uh, it is April 20th. So don't go out doing drugs instead of watching us, okay? Because watching us is more fun. So we got Wagner versus Akatsuki. This is gonna be a fun one. Akatsuki, one of the two guest characters in Yunus, and also considered by many to be one of the best in the series. I've seen some people kick serious butt with him. Now they got their buttons, we'll get started. Takatsuki is very much a good rushdown character. Goes in first. Well, zero win it first. Dusty Stick just trying to find the right opportunity to get it. There we go. Got a nice start. Bit of a combo. Ooh! Not just a bit of a combo. Seven hits. Just looking for those opportunities to knock Takatsuki into the air. Try to get something on him. Zero has a lot. Zero has a good patience, though. Yeah, there we go. Got the start of something. I think this is definitely a, a good footsies game between two players. Both players really just trying to feel each other out, trying to find that perfect moment and taking full advantage of the moment. Uh, Dusty gets up. He gets up. Oh, 9, 10. Five. Oh, man. 15 hit combo. Definitely puts Dusty at a serious advantage. Uh, zero is in, a, is in trouble and he is out. Dust wins the first round. But it's only just beginning. Okay, still got an aggressive start, but I think Dusty realized he was going to have to jump over. Glad to look in the first couple hits. Nice counter. Uh, zero just went blocking. Good one. Up, up. Okay, there we go. Nice uppercut. Both players just going back and forth, trying to find those perfect opportunities. Zero's got it. Ah, nice one. Pushing Dusty into the corner. Dusty could be in, Dusty could be in trouble because in the corner is not a place you want to be, especially against someone, especially some uh, against someone like Akatsuki. Really just rocking the ball and ah man, really turned it around. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I consider fighting games to be more entertaining than football half the time because you never know when it's going to go completely 180 like that. And then it goes 180 again. Dusty, oh man, Dusty showing no mercy. Oh, but a nice recovery from Zero. Tries to get in. Dusty ready for it, though. Man, the defense, the defense of both players is pretty darn good. Uh, except for that moment, but still. Uh, Dusty, okay, Dusty had zero in that corner. Uses a super. Got an out of foul. Less than a third of his health. He's in trouble. Unless Zero can come up with something crazy. Nope. Can't come up with anything crazy fast enough. First game goes to Dusty. Alright, will there be a character change or is everybody gonna stick to what we have stick to what they just had? Oh, straight up retry. Ooh, not even taking a moment to breathe. Zero really just wants to go for it. Alright, starts off starts off aggressive. He's gonna have to find a way to maybe shake it up in the beginning if he wants to be able to get around Dusty because he's becoming a bit predictable at the beginning, but always rushing in. Uh, zero. Uh, Dusty's gonna able to jump over it and lands pretty good counters for the most part. Uh, zero with the uppercut. Dusty going back at it with a nice combo. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh man, nice grab. Got to cut zero to the corner. Oh, zero escapes the corner. Doing alright. Not doing alright. He's being so fast to the again. And I think, for, yep, for that grab, that was it. Dusty takes the first round. I just overheard Dusty say American Reese says. I don't know what that means, but that sounds cool. Okay, just, uh, Zero did try to start doing something different. So that helped a little bit, but not a lot. Dusty really got a good start here. Zero has to play on the defense if he wants to get anywhere. There we go. Nice launch forward. Good opportunity. You really gotta know the speed of your moves. Everybody talks about safe on block, safe on hit when it comes to frame data, but I think a lot of people forget about how important startup animations are. You gotta know how fast a move is, because the move could be super safe on block, but if it's slow to start up, you don't want to throw it out regularly. That usually applies more to, say, grapplers, but it is something you have to keep in mind. Okay, so Zero's got Dusty in the corner. Dusty's in trouble. Oh, nice super. Didn't work. Oh, oh, Dusty making a comeback. Oh, man. Oh, man. Got Zero in the corner. Oh, man. Got him against the wall. Got a Ooh, is that going to kill? Oh, it doesn't kill, but it's pretty darn close. Super magical pixel. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ooh, that was close. Not quite moment 37 close, but man, that was great. That's like the most awesome part of watching any fighting game is seeing somebody with a pixel of health. Well, seeing somebody when they just have a pixel of health and they know what they're doing. They don't panic. They're like, I'm gonna do this. Just watch. 
Very likely. So this is a perk that he get. This could be match point. If Dusty gets another one, he wins. But Zero ain't having it. He's like, ain't nobody got time for that. It's a good grab. He keeps Dusty in the corner. Oh, shoot. Put himself in the corner. Oh, but he's not in trouble. Oh, man. Woo. Okay. So it is now tied one game apiece. So now this is going to be really interesting. All right, once again, no shakeups, no time to breathe. These players just want to go for it. It's like they're on a caffeine rush or something. I'm pretty sure I am at the moment. The players just trying to feel it out. Zero's finally learned that running in is going to help him out most of the time. And his patience paid off. It's the first start. The eight hit combo. Uh, the Wagner, Wagner gets five. Still doing just five more damage, though. Actually, a little bit more damage. Oh. Oh, man. Uh, nice patient play from Zero. Uh, but he's backing himself up into the corner. Oh! Turns around and gets Dusty in the corner. Nice grab. Trying to go from the top. Doesn't really work. But there's something there. There's the wall. Now we getting combo in. Throws in a super. Uh, dust. Up. Oh. Dust fighting out. Ah, uh, but Zero ain't having it. Nice projectile work. Nice super. Uh, it's blocked. Dusty ain't having it. Dusty could still get this if he finds a good opportunity. But Zero ain't having it. I think he's trying to play the classic fireball game. The charge. Oh man, he's gonna punish for it. Oh man, stuck in the corner. He's got a super. Once again, I don't think that's gonna kill, but it's pretty darn close. Zero. Zero's still in trouble. Both players are in trouble. Oh man. Oh man, just barely. Okay, we're at match point again. Zero could be the one taking this. Or Dusty could say, nah man, I got this. Now at that moment though, oh, Zero with a nice jump, nice in the air. Gets him into the corner. Really looks for another, doesn't need to look for another opportunity. Going for it. Nice into the super. Cover from Dust. Dust won't have it. Uh, keep him in the rolling. Still have major health disadvantage, but got a nice start. Making Zero, forcing Zero to play a little bit more defensively. I think Zero's trying to go for the classic uh, dragon ball, uh, fireball or dragon punch combo uh, strategy. Doesn't really work out. Uh, Dust is in trouble. Up. Oh, nice recovery from the grab. Launch the counter attack. And Zero, and Zero takes it. Woo. It was looking really bad for him at the beginning, but he managed to turn it around. That was just goes to show everybody that in fighting games, it's never over until it's over. Even when you just have one pixel of health left, you just gotta keep fighting. That's that's how the pros do it. Whether they're on the grand stage of Evo or whether at a small event like this, that's how you do it. And now we welcome Zero back to commentary because I gotta go play a match. I was definitely scared. What up, dog? What up? All right, so we got our next round coming in straight away. Uh, okay. We got Jet M versus, I will find out in a second. Okay, Jet M's back, all right, all right. Uh, this is Apollo. Apollo, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Apollo I saw earlier playing Gordeaux. So we'll see. That sticks. Yep, so we're into round three now. Yeah, man, way to turn that around. You oh, were at uh, you were at match point, like yeah. on loss, and you came back. Yeah, it was scary because uh, he wasn't really afraid of anything. I was like, why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta make him was afraid. Like, yeah, I was like, okay, well, if you don't want to be afraid, then I'll just go camp and not yep. be afraid. <laughs> you gotta have a little bit of respect out there. Just a tiny bit. Yeah. It was good though, he did good to challenge a lot of us up in our stuff. So I wasn't getting away with it for free. That was fun. Awesome. Yeah, we got the Jet M coming back in. Probably gonna stick with Byakuya. And not sure who Apollo is gonna come out with. Right, yeah, sitting with Gordon here. Another Yonder yeah, Gordo. Gordo. Let's see how this goes. See what this Gordo brings to the table. So many Gordos. He's great. <laughs> a lot of interesting options, a lot of options that can make him safe, so... It's a game that does not feature... Is there no external... Oh, there's no external button check? Not 
Yeah, not in character select. Like, you can only do it in options. That's, or in the start screen. So that's it's horrible. Kinda, yeah. Even Soul Calibur finally caught up to that. I think just about every fighting game does it now, except for some French bread games. Oh, Look, like, they're only running on French bread. They don't, that's an extra feature that's not necessary. You can't tell me that. Japanese eat all kinds of bread. I've seen it in anime. They did buy their way into Evo, so I don't Nice website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, man. Jet Story, there it is. First round of Jet M. It's tough to block because honestly, if it's charged, it's if I'm not directly overhack, but if it's not charged, it's just going to block. They both look exactly the same. That's rough. Yeah. Gotta watch the white block. You got the cross under. Gary. Are we going to the corner? Oh, no. Yeah, we Oh, yeah. And we're going back the other way. Yeah. Give me the full tour of this, this abandoned room. Oh, no, not going to bounce We are going to the corner, and that's the pressure. Oh, no, I, I, I think he's okay with it. I think he's going to roll. Oh, Jeff's okay with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I, I don't. Well, yeah, that's going to walk away with the first game on that one. Right. Yeah, he's going to Come to me, power of coconuts. Mm -hmm. Gotta be healthy here out in these video games, you know? Exactly. Think smart, play smart. Mm -hmm. Hydrate smart. Coconut water, coconut water. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see how we open up for now. Oh, no, that's straight away. Not the way to do it. Everybody's pretty slow in the MTJ fighters. Yeah. Alright, so like, you know, of course, the extra junior is the best reverse lot of it. Alright, so combo's dropping, keeping the pressure on. And definitely putting uh, Apollo on notice. Look at this card for Jeff. Play at that range because Jeff is just probably on those buttons. Yeah, right, I would imagine what happened to me to make this reach fair. Oh my goodness. Nice. Man, you can bring up the life totals. Scorching ahead a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh, catches him low to start something else, but drops it almost immediately. Oh. Oh, he got opened up. Knock, knock. Web setups. Please don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Yeah, that's the risk, though, because we don't want to block. We were blown up for it. That was, that was definitely working towards Apollo's favor for a second, but Jed ended up uh, taking that round. He's now on match point. Oh, 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 we're in there now. Oh, no. Oh, oh. came up short. Yeah, lucky that wasn't a whip punish. Oh. Oh, yep. oh, man, come back to get Max Gold Spider. Yeah, absolutely. Nice chance to get there. Really smart. See, if I can remember the, 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 the Ronin Warriors villain who had the same kind of weapon. <laughs> Oh, oh no. my goodness. 99. Yeah, no. I, you could have saved it. Oh, yeah. There, there had to be so much scaling on that. Yeah, absolutely. He was already in a little part of the party, countered by Web, but Jet still confident in the win. He still got it. Nylon. Yep. But hey, respect Knuckles, and we will see more of Jet M down the line. Absolutely. Possibly Apollo as well if we uh, get around to blue bracket. Speaking of, let's take a quick look. Huh. So, we have Emma versus Seb in the works.
Uh, Zero, that's you, and Komoda. Komoda Dragon. Yep, right? that's that's where my brain went. <laughs> Drifter Dane, I know that guy. Yeah. And uh, actually, yeah, Drifter Dane was at OhioCon this year. Uh, okay. Did very, very strong in Unist, almost was... taking out uh, Jushichi yeah. oh. and uh, Silmarion. He was just at uh, Michigan Masters and uh, oh, yeah, knocked me happen. out of bracket. I should have gone to so, Michigan Masters hey, this past week. It's the run back, though, because I ended up knocking him out of bracket for uh, right now. All right. All right. Okay. Komota. But, yeah, we'll see. All right. Well, good luck to you, my friend. Alright guys, what up? What up? This is your boy Magic. I'm gonna try to commentate on this for you. So we got zero as a Kotsky versus Komo. Alright, so. Yuzuriha, super strong, uh, super quick, good mid range pressure. Akatsuki, of course, super deadly up close. Got a pretty good fireball game. Basically, the Shoto of this particular, this particular game. Oh, Zero getting caught low, juggled into the corner. Yuzu just popping him up over and over. Oh, and we got the first round victory going to Kokuta. Let's see what Zero can do to adapt in this second round. Strong DP. Oh, catches the, uh, the end of the Tatsu there in the air. Putting Komoda and Komoda into the dirt. More corner pressure. Oh, frees himself nice and safe after that whole string. Oh, and retaliating with a DP after the chase down. Oh, oh, we're going hard. We just basically did uh, power up into empty jump low. Gotta love that. Round a piece now, heading into this, into the end of the first game. Oh, there we go, the big swipes. And catching zero with that super move. Zero really trying to get something going low. Oh, gets caught pressing buttons. Getting juggled for his trouble. Oh! Yo! The DP in react to the air dash. Once again, we got solid juggles. Oh, nice grab. And can we carry this damage all the way? Zero in the corner now. Gotta fight it. Oh! Just a couple of fireballs there. Oh, tried to interrupt unsuccessful, but now we have Yuzuri. Yeah, Yuzuri in the corner. Oh, and the trade for the loss. Komoda going up one game. Alright, one more time at this. 
Trade working out in Yuzu's favor. E by zero. Ko being chased into the corner right now. Oh, no reset on that one. Nice chop. Still super safe. Tatsu. Oh, Kess with the Capcom overhead chop. A little bit of synchronicity there. Backfired on Zero's part. Now he's the one being chased down. Oh! Nice reaction by Komoza. Ducking right out of the way of that DP. Oh, nice Tatsu there. Zero taking that first round pretty handily. Alright. Looks like Komoda is establishing a bit of a distance game. Getting the basic uh, the basic finish off. But Zero's got the meter and the drive. And the hit confirms. Look at this. Nice grab there. Whipped Komoda out, but now he's in the corner and he's getting a little torn up. Life lead is dissipating rapidly. Nice grab, no break. On the ground now. Oh, just a little early on that one. Can Zero finish it off? Yes, he can. All right, one game apiece now. One one. All right, folks, this is going to be the one to decide it. All right, once again, Komoda starting in the mid range, but Zero dashing right in, getting a solid aerial combo, chasing Komo down to the corner. Oh, oh, a trade working out more in favor of Komota than Zero. He himself is in the corner, but he's willing to go to the other one. I pay my bus fare. Oh! Komoja this time not getting caught by the, by the super empty jump low. Why? It's all for naught anyway. Big damage right off the bat. 20, 30%. Komoja already, 40. Nice grab. We're past the halfway mark now. Wow, just relentless assault here. All this pressure. But yeah, Komodo back on offense, taking Akatsuki across the field. Oh, magic pixel time. Oh, nice defense, cross up. And that will do it. Zero over Komoto. Two to one. So good stuff there. That means Komoda will be off to losers, while Zero gets to hang out in the winner's bracket and move on to winner's semifinals. Ugh. He's playing a lot of casuals against him, and he can play solely differently than any casuals. That was the mix. Yep. He was messing with your mind. <laughs> uh, it's a tough matchup for Akatsuki either way, though. Yeah, it seemed like uh, she had the distance game on you. Yes, 100%. Um, and, I mean, as far as power goes, she's probably an even match for Kotsky. Right, yeah, it's a lot of... Uh, I have to win portable a lot, so because that gives me that additional option. Like, all right, I want to fireball, change shift, and I can close that gap. Yeah. Uh, or, like, just keep pressure. Once I'm in, like, I can't let her out. Of course, she has that teleport, so that kind of sucks a little bit. Yeah, her, her ability to cross up seems really, really high. Right. Um, I mean, you do have the projectile game, which uh, I guess works in your favor when you come in from a distance. You can at least use the hit stun to slide in. Yeah. Start. Uh, I, I was admiring your, uh, your, your basically your jump in, trip, whatever super mode that was, <laughs> into low. Basically a delayed empty jump into low. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, chain shifting is super important. Uh, just being able to use grid in general in mean, units is important. Hey? Hello. Move this over. Time some more unit action, everybody. Yeah. So where are you at at the bracket at the moment? I don't know. Winter semis, I think? Is that what you said? Nice. Holy smokes. I'm out. I got up. I got two. 
I ended up being too well, but that's okay. I still feel like I played very well. That's good. That's yeah, my first point. game was yeah. definitely yeah. really close. Embo? Embo? Oh, Embo. Okay, okay. Oh, boy. From Team Dust. Why am I playing everybody I played in casuals before I got here? <laughs> <laughs> you have an advantage. Yeah, it's so defensive. I'm fighting everybody from Dust till dawn. <laughs> but, um... But no, that was, uh... So you said you fought who first? Uh, I cannot... Uh, uh, Doctor something was the player's name I fought first. Okay. Doctor Brian. Doctor Brian, yeah. And we had some really close games. Both okay. the ones where our hearts were pounding because we were just, yeah, yeah, yeah. we were evenly matched as like relative newcomers to you. Okay. So that was fun. And then I forget the name of the player I fought second, but he was play he was playing in Kibu or the guy that has the parry. The second guy you fought was yeah. in Kibu. Who was the first? Uh, he played. Uh, you were playing Richard second. Richard Spidey. Yeah, I cannot remember who it was. Oh, the character first? Okay. Oh, no, sorry. That was uh, Dust Nick W. Richard Spidey is DQ. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I was actually supposed to fight him, but he never showed up. You gotta win. But you gotta e win. But, e talk yeah. <laughs> but even even if he had, uh, even if he decided he wasn't gonna to quit, um, we DQ'd him because he did not respond to anybody calling him. Okay. Alright. That's their fault. Yeah. And that's a win. I mean, Dane and I both yelled pretty loudly. Yeah, basically, uh, you scared them away. I, I, I don't want to fight. They're too good. I guess. I guess. I wouldn't say that, but who knows? Go with that story. Go with the story. <laughs> like the one time my mom accidentally got a black eye right before my sister's Whoa, graduation. Move this around. Okay. Papa and Apollo. Oh, yeah. Papa and Apollo. Okay. So Apollo was on earlier playing Gordon. I haven't seen Papa play. We'll find out here. We'll see how that goes. This should be a fun game. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But yeah, uh, my dog, uh, my mom was walking our dog. He tugged on the leash and she fell and landed face first on the concrete. Ooh. So she had a black eye just before my sister's graduation Wait. ceremony. Uh, so what she did was she wore a note that said, you should see the other guy. <laughs> I know, right? That's actually pretty good. Oh, against uh, Nanase. Okay. Ah, this will be fun. Nanase. I've seen a lot of Nanase players. Yeah, there, there should be a few more, honestly. Because Nanase yeah. is fairly fun to see. Yeah, the, the main ones I see are Gordo, mm -hmm. Akatsuki, and I see a good number of Mika players. And who's the main dude again? Uh, Hyde? Hyde, yes. Yep. Those are definitely the people that I tend to see the most. The uh, Mercado doesn't surprise me too. Or Gordo, excuse me, doesn't yeah. surprise oh, me yeah, too much. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Akatsuki does, though. A little bit. Uh, cause no, well, no, he, I think he's a lot of people consider him to be the top two in the game. Anyways, oh, yeah. here we go. Mash, start, pop up, get him. Oh, never mind, he didn't hit. Yeah, it's a really pop, good fireball play there. Pop, Papa does not have a brand new bag. Oh, Apollo's got Papa in the corner. Right, nice cool throw there. No tech on Papa. Or, uh, flips around, actually, Apollo. Yeah. Oh, man, Papa, Papa got a good start. That turkey. Oh, man. Look at that combo. Look at those combo. Look at those combo. What? Ah, man. Yeah, Apollo, uh, Apollo ain't happening. Apollo's like, yeah, Papa, you might be down the combo, but I'm just gonna ride that. Oh, that's the situation on that. That's okay, though. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, that's a power. A power. Uh, what's this character's for the Well, he might, I guess. Or I guess maybe, maybe he should have only if they go back to the yeah. I think Apollo, yeah, I think Apollo probably wishes that he stayed for it, though. Actually, no, he doesn't wish that. He is going to go back Wait, what? No, I was thinking, okay, uh, we're, we're both mixed up. We're Trust mixed up and we're in the Apollo same room. Apollo is going to pop up just the night. We're getting mixed up and we're in the same room with them, everybody. Well, nice talk. Yeah. Nice slide there. Thank you, yeah. That fireball is going to be in order for the Nazi and the Nazi. Not so for Bristol, it's a lot for Nazi. Yeah. That Cordell has amazing range of sight. There we go. Yeah, gotta watch out for the Nazi. Come on. Nice. 
Yeah. I'm not feeling high. Yeah. Who's she texting now? <laughs> All her friends. This old dude with long fingernails just tried to attack me. <laughs> DPs are how I did well in my games. Uh, okay. I mean, just the classic uh, fireball strategy. Or the, the, you know, fireball, 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 uppercut. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's the oldest trick in the book, but it works. There's a reason why we call them fundamentals, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, are they switching? Okay, I guess they switched sides on screen. Wait a minute! We were, we were on the wrong side. We screwed up that So, so Apollo is playing Gordel, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait, Just making wait, sure. what? That's... Cause you switched again, and I'm trying to confirm. We are trying to confirm. We are, I, we are so sorry, audience. They're being a bunch of butt munches. Anyways. They're keeping us on our team. That's what they're doing. Yeah, I guess. Oh, that's the fireball. Wrong direction. Nice car to slide through. Ah, didn't quite get any. No, Papa did have a good advantage anyway. Well, it's not safe to stop. Right in front of Gordel. That's where you don't want to be in the street, you know? Exactly. Popular chaos players back at home for me. There's Dane and then there's Samirion. These got, oh yeah, that's right, it's Samirion. Yeah, yeah, who got fourth place in Soul Calibur at uh, Michigan Masters yep. the other day. Yep. So he's cool, dude. That's yeah. Samirion also plays chaos. Forgot about that. Jeez. Yeah, it's, 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 it's such a regional thing too, which I really like about units. You have like a hotbed of like certain characters depending about where you are in the states. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see. So who do we have next? So who's next on stream? I don't know. Uh, what does someone do? In the meantime, Dane and Jet. Dane and Jet? Yeah. That sounds anime as heck. Hey Dane, Jet, you're up on stream. I guess you want to know. Yeah. Think like a foreign country as Europe. But uh. <laughs> And they just give me that look like. I was also trying to like, wait, I need to compute what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess while we're waiting for the match to start up, might be a good time to plug Game Arena. This is my third time being here for their second Impact series, and I gotta yeah. tell you, Game Game Adventures. Gaming Adventures. Game Adventures. I'm sorry, GameArena.com. Gaming Adventures is one of the best places you can go 
Uh, it's great. It's got a casual space. It's got arcade cabinets. It's got a game store in the front. Yeah. The kitchen actually also serves pretty good food. I was like, really surprised walking in here because it's my first time here, and I saw like the street view. I was like, all right, you know, we got a normal like game place. I had no idea it was gonna be an arcade. There was gonna be food. And yeah, food. yeah. It's really cool. And it feels like a family business. Like not everybody that works here is blood related, but it feels like one big family running right. the event. Absolutely. I always feel so welcome. Well, that's good. Even when I'm not here for a couple months, like I had to miss the last event, uh, people are still just. I just walk in and it's like, hey Felicia, how you doing? Today, almost as if I was just in last week. It's really cool. I know. Uh, oh, Alright. So, Alright, just checking the buttons. Checking them buttons. So you think Yakuza versus Chaos. Hmm. I don't know. I, I'm gonna say Chaos, but only because I know Dane and I know he's just a really solid player. One of the best anime fighter players in Seabus, without a doubt. Uh, they better know for uh, Guilty Gear, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, I know him for Guilty Gear, playing Batman. Right. Excellent Batman, too. Yeah, check out that fight stick. There. Yeah. Dane, Dane's Don't the kind of guy sleep who... on you. Yeah, Dane is the kind of guy who likes to, I can tell, enjoys like picking the harder characters. He knows it's going to be harder, but then he comes up with something great with it. That's the interesting thing about chaos. It's like you have to pay attention to us and we'll eat the creature there unless it gets blown up or doing something like that. Yeah, so but now it'll be off his turn. A puppet character. Yeah. So Maki has a new start here, and Jet has a new start here. Really just going for it. Yeah, Dane's just trying to keep the distance. I'm just trying to keep the distance. Dane doesn't have as many options to get it. The lizard is out. I've already got the lizard's name. Ozzy. Ozzy. I see the beginning. I called the lizard. I used to call it Beastie for like the longest time. Yeah. But uh, Chaos was weak. Still has options. Just not as many. Just not as many. Yeah, from what I explained, he has this one that Lakia is somebody. You want to be careful fighting up close, because he's got those spider webs and whatnot, that's what he's going to grab. So. Oh yeah, that's the classic puppeteer strategy. If you can literally sandwich your opponent, that can put you at a strong advantage. Yep. Nice. I have not thought maybe that was uh, Yeah, me too. Uh, oh man, Ozzy is going, that's a fireball. Okay, he's out. He's gaining out of he's got a good Nice offensive. Hurt can't have dog this game. One of the main rules of horror films is you can kill as many people as you want to, but you never kill them. People get upset. Well, wait a minute. What about the shooter? Oh. Yeah, time up happens. Oh my goodness. You look away for a second. That boy, oh boy, that was really close. Oh yeah, that was a Joe Bob break quote, by the way, for those that didn't know. Okay, Maki is not happy. He's chaos in the corner. Nice spider web. So it's going to be important here. This puts Gap right there. Yeah. Quite the prediction for Dane. Yeah, Dane's just a bit of a half web too. He's really in trouble right now. Yeah, okay, Web's gone now. Okay, he recovered. He's going for a good opportunity to get out. There we go. Got a start. Got the main plate. Oh, 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 one round of these so far. Okay, she got down the other. Ozzy's out. Uh, first couple of hits with Jet. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, nice combo from Dave. Dave started. Oh, uh, super good with Oh, and it cost him. Not nearly, but it's still possible. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, shit. Another one going. Where are you going to jump? Nice. I got the veil off. It wasn't a long twist, for example. Yeah. There's something you have the best idea ever, but it's just next to the wrong time. Okay, he's out of the corner at least. Ooh, really? Like your body. Okay, blocks the super. There's still some chip damage. But at least that means Dane's still in there trying to go. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Alright, first game goes to Jet. Not the Cowboy Bebop character, though. <laughs> Lose some hair, put it on his face. Exactly. We got it, you know. Don't, and then uh, don't forget the robot arm. Alright, we're gonna have to take his arm. <laughs> I need your leg for my. It's for the plan. <laughs> what? I didn't need the. I didn't actually need the leg. I just did that for a joke. Are you serious, Rocket? 
shout out to Guardians there? Yes. When it comes to superhero movies with elements of comedy, nothing will ever top Guardians 1. Let's be honest. Well, was pretty good, yeah. Like, getting back to the show. Okay, they tried to start with Ozzy throwing something out. Not quite ready. He's definitely playing a little bit more defensively this time around. Um, you know, just get the next start here. It's a good sign of the two for the right of set up yet, because it's going to be horrible anyway, so that's definitely a victory there. Yeah, he's an Ozzy. He's going to get the distance. Ozzy's still there. Up, he's going to be out. Looking for a good opportunity to get in. Uh, he didn't quite get in. Ozzy's trying to learn something. Man, the next defense has really been on point. Right. It really has. Like, it's really dumb. He must, he must play somebody that plays Chaos because he's been catching these strings that were not very well. Or he did that or just really did his homework. You know, nobody likes homework, but what are you gonna find against the guy that they do you in office stuff like this? Alright, alright, this is match alright, this is match point. Is Dane gonna bring it back or is or will it be set off into the loser's bracket? Yeah. So easy to do. Yeah. 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 Okay, he's Ozzy out, but he's been hit. He's still at a major disadvantage, but he plays E card right, he could have him. Ah, that was a nice tag. Oh, oh, but that's it. Jet takes it 2 0. Moves forward to win moves forward to winners finals, I believe. Yeah. Moves forward to winners finals. And Dane's gotta fight his way back. That's tough though. I mean, really good showing by Dane for sure. Or uh, yeah, by Dane. Yeah. Uh, Jet having excellent knowledge of when to punish Ozzy, when to play patient in a full screen game when he doesn't have to commit. Yeah. It's like it's like to all aspiring fighting game players. And I can still remember thinking when I was like wanting to take fighters seriously, like, I just learned all the moves. That's gonna do it. But no, you have to know your opponent almost as well as yourself. Yeah, exactly. That, that's the key thing. Yeah. You have to get good at improvising. Yep, absolutely. I think it's gonna be you Okay. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna be solo for a second. Let's see what comes up. Here we go. Alright, looks like Zero is getting back into action. So it will just be me. Alright. Where is. Oh, that was Zero walking. I thought that was Dame for a moment. Walking on. So how's everybody doing out there? So who else excited for Unistat Evo? I definitely am, especially after seeing all these plays that we've been having. I have a feeling we're going to see some really good stuff. Yeah, Unist is one of those few games I think is just flashy enough for the casual players uh, that sometimes think that some games are too slow, but it's not so flashy that it's hard to follow, like games like Dragon Ball Fighters or even Blaze Blue and Guilty Gear can be at times, which I think is kind of the magic of it. It's also only four buttons, so if you're looking to pick it up, guys, pick it up. Not to mention, it's one of the prettiest looking fighting games you will ever play. It is just beautiful. Not the best looking 2D fighting game ever. I still think that honor goes to Third Strike, but Eunice is still good. I think we're going to start with button check. Make sure everybody's good. Yeah, it is a little annoying that there's no uh, way to choose buttons on a, on the character select screen. So I mean, Soul Calibur 6 just makes that. Anyways. So we got Emba as Merkava versus Zero playing as Akatsuki. Now, I watched Emba play earlier, and Merkava is amazing, but you can't tell right now that Zero is just going for it. Akatsuki is probably the best rushdown character in this game. He knows how to just get in your face and lay on some powerful combos. But Merkava, he ain't no slouch. He's got good reach, and he's got good speed. So he's not like a traditional zoner, I'd say, but he can use some of those tactics and move a lot quicker than some other characters with a similar playstyle. Nice, ba nice back and forth. Zero's definitely out of health advantage. 
Ruin found a way on the pressure. Rakava won't have uh, Emma ain't having it though. Uses some distance. Gets him in the corner. Now it's pretty close. Start to dive in. Emma zero comes back. Alright. A bit of a charge here. Emma trying to use his ability to keep the distance. Because he knows that if he gets up close, that's gonna help Zero out. Got a good grab there. Zero playing defensively, Just waiting for a good opportunity. Nice dodge. That was a pretty good dodge for Memba. Using his long arms to try to get him to get away. Might be going for a timer scam. Might not need it though. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Uh, nice nice projectile attack. Uh, Emba completely dodges it. Oh man, that was almost a timer scam, but Emba takes the first round. I don't even want to fix the Merkava looks like something out of Disney's Atlantis. He's kind of got that pattern to it. it that pattern to his appearance. I hopefully it hopefully wasn't Zero contemplating that that made him get hit that time. Man, Emba's got a really good start here. Keeping the distance. Making sure Hagatsuki can't play up close, which is where he's best at. Pushing him into the corner. Uh, oh! Zero. Oh, that is a nice one. Coming right back. Coming right back at you. Blocks the super. There's still chip damage, but not a whole lot. Emba still has a serious advantage, but Zero with enough patience to really get somewhere. Okay, and start. There we go. Goes up there, gets him in the corner. Oh, oh, but he plans into a super. Oh, yeah. Emba takes the first game. It almost looked like Zero could have taken it back, but that with super, but that super, that was it. That's what got. That's what got Emba going. Looks like, it looks like Merkaba will not be hungry tonight. But I've seen Zero play some pretty good matches, so maybe he'll come back, maybe he won't. Starting out with his own from Emba. Really trying to keep Akatsuki out, using the air as well as the ground. Stretching. Ah, nice combo up there. Works really hard hitting attacks. See, we've got to find a way to get in, but Emba uh, just ain't, have, ain't letting them. Up until that point. Uh, oh, didn't really get anything off of it. Nice, nice patience, nice defense from Emba. Oh, he's close to getting zero in the, in the corner. I don't know if he's going for it or not. Uh, it seems like he's trying to, but that's not his main focus. Kind of like a plan B, plan A, just push him back, get a few good attacks there. Yeah. Ooh, that could be it. That is it. That is the first round of the second game goes to Emba. We are at match point. Zero gonna come back. Got a nice start from Zero, trying to use projectile attack there. Ooh, oh! Got an air combo followed by a super. Man, Emba's really been knowing how to use his meter. Been launching his supers at just the right time. Zero has been trying to use him well, he's trying to use him as well, but I just didn't quite, hasn't quite gotten the timing with him. Yeah, that combo right there, that's a pretty good one. Good charging, stretch the grab. Man, nice overhead. Emba really got Zero in a bad spot. And that is it. Emba moves on to winners. Zero will have to fight his way through the loser's bracket. Yeah. Merkava is definitely an interesting character to watch. As you'd think, being his owner, he wouldn't have very many strong attacks like that, but he's got some really good ones. By defending myself from those who harm me. Funny dialogue. I gotta say, after the Virg I have to say after AM2 Studios, uh, I gotta say that the guys at French Bread make the most hilarious dialogue ever for fighting games. I mean, nothing will ever top. It's like you're moving in slow motion. Or I've got the advantage. You've Jack got Ryan. nothing. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, and El Blaze is also pretty darn hilarious. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> but Blaze has some really good quotes. All right. So looks like Dane is back up. Oh, and he's against the player that actually knocked me out of the bracket. And then Mr. Two cheering on Dane. All right, they're gonna set buttons first, so they are not playing these characters. Like I say, it's so bizarre seeing a mall stage, but not seeing anybody in the mall. Well, not saying that's, nice. Yeah, I know. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying it's definitely bizarre. Yeah. Nah, you gotta play more. Going in a dead mall bizarre? In Ohio? No. 
No, 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 bizarre, like it's weird. <laughs> All right. Just making the perfect song. Because let's face it, you gotta have some good rad jams when you're playing fighting That's games. True. Man, I'm still at pizza. I really need to get some pizza. Holy cow. Yeah, that, the pizza here is actually really good. I thought it was, with, at the price, I thought it was just gonna be something really cheap, but it's comparable to like Little Caesars, actually. Little okay. Caesars is one of my favorites. Okay. Yeah. So, Alrighty, so Dana's back up against Nick. That's right. Yeah, Hikidu has that parry. That's something I did not. I never fought Hikidu before, so I did not realize he had that parry. And I'd say that's probably the main reason I lost the game was the lack of magic knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but how are his parries gonna work against fighting Ozzy? Oh. Yeah. His quick dash off is definitely one of the best that he has with the Oh, but it ain't gonna help him here. Got the corner. Oh, man. Yeah, that's not gonna kill him too close. Oh. Oh, it didn't work. The desperation didn't work. Mm -hmm. Alright. Keep it going. Dane trying to use Ozzy to get some distance. Gets a few good hits there. Yeah, Ozzy's really good. Ozzy's really helping carry it. I think because his animation is so, so weird and different compared to the others, that's a lot harder for Peter to parry. Doesn't matter much here. We got Ozzy out. Ooh, he almost got Dane to the corner tonight. Yeah. I think Dane realizes that the, the corner is the worst spot to be in against the, against Peter, so he's really trying his hardest to get there. To stay out of there. Might be getting him in there. Man. Man. Ozzy to finish it, okay. Mm -hmm. That's really misleading, too. Alright, one round apiece. Both are starting to figure out each other's tricks, but is that going to be enough? Oh, nice combo. Nice combo on Dane's part. Oh, he did rip. He did rip the carry. Ooh, he's got Nikito. Alright, Dane has got Nick into the corner. Oh, he's finding his way out of the corner, but he got him stuck there for a second. Oh, using the puppeteer sandwich cat, uh, strategy. I don't know if that's actually the phrase people use. That's just, I've heard, I think I've heard the term once or twice before, back to what I said. For puppet characters, when you've got them between both characters. Right. But I think people still get the idea. You get the idea that. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I didn't say it, so I can't say that. But, yeah, I'm distracting everybody from the fact that Dane is finally trying to get in. Got him on those parries and takes the first game. Yeah, that was a deep cross up here. Yeah. So the question is are we going to have a switch up of characters, or is Nick going to say he's so confident in his dude? He is saying he's so confident. Yeah, nobody's really taking time to breathe, they're just going for it. Personally, I try to take a little time to breathe between games if I can, but these guys, even when they're on the loser side and they have the ability to go back to character select just to take a breather, they don't wanna. I think they just really want to keep fighting, they want to keep that group going. Yeah, Peter, speaking of momentum, uh, Nick's definitely got it going. Oh man, he's got, he's got Dane into the corner. Oh, keeping him in the corner. Oh man. Going to hide low at the appropriate time. Oh. Okay. 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 Uh, Dana's finally way to get out of this. Uh, super, oh, wait, super. Ooh, that parry, though. Oh, oh nice grab. Two parries. Man. Body. Yeah. Okay, trying to get something started. Want to be starting something. Yeah, yeah, James got him in the corner. We can just keep this up. Oh, that Harry! Dooby dooby doo ba dooby dooby doo ba Harry! Okay, he got sandwich. Didn't really do a whole lot of ship damage, so. Does, uh, Nick might still have a way to get out of this. Trying to get him close to Dane, and it works. Yeah, his 
comboing off the low is really good. Comboing corner, really good at that wall, that is super. Oh man, that was a full turn off the super. Ozzy got knocked out. At least Dan is out of the corner. Should give him somewhat of a chance to figure something out. Nice, nice counter. Okay. Nice. Okay, that was a better time super. Not surprised it was a good event, but it was definitely a little better there. Okay, Ozzy not out. Uh, now he's out. Dane's gotta try to keep him out of distance. Not working. Not working. Nice super. Alright. We have one game apiece, everybody. Alright. I... No adjustment necessary. We knew what to do. Uh -huh. Just had to tighten some money. Oh. Stuff a bit. They went back. Oh, no. They just needed a second. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, not, not gonna have a not gonna have an infiltration style switch here. Don't hurt the dog. Yeah. Oh man. Okay, that was that was kind of a risky move. He could have potentially put himself in the corner had it not worked. That was quite the gamble, but it ended up working for him. He has a serious advantage now. Oh, the gamble could not be off anymore. He's definitely not Danny Ocean in Vegas at the moment. Uh, okay, out of the corner. Got him in the corner. Ooh, nice attack. Back to Ozzy. Me and Ozzy just both on the board. Grab. Didn't carry it. Yeah. Oh, oh, shoot. Got tired. Nick is really bringing it back. Oh my god! Now that was a parry. Holy. Okay. We're at, we're at, we're at, we're at match point. We're at match point. Nice grab. Yeah, I think Dane has realized uh, that he knows how to get around the timing of parry with those grabs, and that's giving him advantage. But I think he's going to need more than just that to take this. Hadu has some really good tricks. He is generally a powerful opponent. Got Ozzy in there. Fireballs. Got him in the corner. Corner combo. Uh, keep it going. Didn't drop it. Let Ozzy go continue it. Uh, oh man, almost had a perfect there. Yes. Yeah. Why do the dirty work when you have a dog do it for you? I still don't think that's a dog, though. I, wa I want someone to make, like, a use bionicle pieces to make a model of Ozzy. That'd be cool. Yeah, Dane's got a really nice start going. Uh, uh -huh, got an air combo. He gave himself a wave to the corner. He wants to get me that gamble. I could have put him in the corner. It's working out. Oh, got a super. Uh, not quite. But he's still got Ozzy. Got a serious health advantage. Uh, now, Mikito has the meter advantage at the moment. But he ain't worried about it at the moment. Oh, nice! That was pretty good. Not just going for the straight up attack. Shake him off. That guy. Yeah, and Dane will be moving on in the loser side. I like too that Dane was using uh, Ozzy to make the main attacks while he was trying to close the gap, and then uh, he made sure that Kidu overcommitted to like a button to try to kill Ozzy. And then when Ozzy yeah. was done, already assaulting over in Kidu anyways, so yeah. just hitting from the other side. That's really the way you do it when you fight like stronger characters or uh, grapplers. Right. You know their moves are slow. So if you can catch the timing and you know how to get them just after they whip it, that's when you really lay on the damage. Exactly, exactly. Nice work from both of them. So we're just figuring out what the next match is, so we'll be back after these messages. Yeah, I mean, either Emba versus... Jeff? 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 Just figuring out stuff. Or myself versus Pop. Oh boy. Yeah, because he just finished against Nick. Where'd Scott go? Alright. Let's go. Alright. 
Yep. Pa forget Papa Roach. Papa Zero is where it's at. Alrighty, everybody. We got Papa and Zero. We have seen some pretty good play from both of these guys. Both of them making some interesting comebacks with their respective characters. It'll just be fun to see what the G Gordo versus Akatsuki match is going to be like. It's going to be kind of some. I think it's going to be kind of similar to Zero's last game. Uh, just having to try to close that space because he was facing a who was someone who was essentially his owner. I'm sorry, y'all. I cannot remember all the Eunice characters' names off the top of my head, and I do apologize. Uh, it can be Blaze Blue, I don't know everybody, but Eunice, not as much. Checking the buttons. I love those shades Zero has. I wonder where he got those. Okay. I'm assuming they're gonna pick. Oh! Oh, pa oh, that's right. Papa played Nanase. Uh, that was the other guy that played Gordo. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm forgetting that. Both characters that do well up close. Nanase has a few more advantages out of his. No, they both have good projectiles, so I think it's just going to be out blitzing each other this game. At, at this point, uh, oh shoot, uh, the names are oh shoot, the names are mixed up. Uh, we got Zero is playing Akatsuki and Papa is playing Nanase. Zero really going for it. Zero. Got a serious, serious start. Already has, already has popping down to half his health. Almost got in the corner. Not quite. Ooh, nice dash around. But I think Zero was wait, was expecting that kind of thing. Yep. Got a nice combo going with the projectile. Keeping his distance. Looks for the right time to do everything. Up. Oh, kind of a trade there. There we go. Nice start from Zero. He takes round one. Second clause. He buys. Uh, Papa trying to get yep, a good start, trying to keep the distance first, leading to the trap, didn't work, zero caught on, got him in the corner, oh boy. Trying to lay an aggressive mix up, got that there, overhead, knocked into the air, using the wall to his advantage, just like a good player should. Oh man, James getting to that, watching super, up, Papa recovered, but not really giving much of an opportunity, and the first game goes to zero. That might have been one of the fastest games of this tournament so far. But as we all know, sometimes the second game is better than the first. Because we have no idea if Papa has caught on to anything Zero's been doing. I mean, good thing, Papa was starting to figure some stuff out playing a little bit more defensively in the beginning. But is that going to be enough? Not at this point. He's already in the corner. Already at a serious health disadvantage. Uh, Zero's not taking any damage. Oh, just took some damage. Starting to do good. Combo started. Going all in. Red. Knocked off of the air for an air combo. Nice super. Just chip. Up. Broke it. Broke the guard. Papa's kind of in trouble. Really got to find a way to get through Akatsuki's defense. Zero's defense is so good. Man, I almost don't that even have to commentate it's going so quickly. Yeah, I think Zero's play right now is a good example. Sometimes the best defense is a good offense. He's got so many good strings, so many good things going on, that it's making it hard for Papa to even get in there to serve his own safety, which therefore ends up being a good defense. But Papa is starting to figure out something here. And they dash into an air combo. Up, oh, zero back up. For a good start. Shield stop his combo. Ooh, that was a nice one. Uh, Papa had something. Zero's like, nope, I ain't taking it. Charge. Alright, got a combo started down against the wall. Grab. Shaking things up a little bit with his corner strategy. He's got it rock and rolling. And he does it. Zero takes the game and moves on into losers. Moves on to losers. Woo! And everybody give a round of applause for Zero. Heck, you know what? Everybody in the chat, give everybody here that's been playing a round of applause. Because we got a lot of got a lot of cool players here today. Both the hardcore and the casual, so that's what makes that's what's making this fun. <sighs> Agreed. <laughs> Yeah, that was definitely an exciting match to watch. Yeah, I was uh, really nervous. I was 
expecting more like DPs out of Nanase, and I didn't get a single one, so it's like, okay, I think I'm gonna be alright here. I might as well, I might as well ask one thinking about it. How do you see out of those shades? They're just shoulder shades, really. Okay. But it still takes some practice to be able to play with them. Though. Oh, yeah. When I first got them, it was a huge headache. Yeah. Yeah, I want those. Oh, so yeah, that might be the coolest thing I've seen since the Yasi sunglasses. If you oh, know what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oops. I am not affiliated with Yase. I just have to be around them a lot. Is it, is one it time. Yase? Yase, yeah. That's how it's pronounced? Yeah. I mean, it's uh, however you want to pronounce it. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Jarb. We got, oh, got a business card. You know, it tells you everything you need to know about Yase. Mm -hmm. So, that's it right there. Yase World. Yase not World. All right. So this is gonna be a this is gonna be a fun one. This is one thing kind of a match between someone who's best at zoning and someone who's really good at up close. But Merkava, but I've seen some really good play uh, with Merkava so far in this tournament. Oh, and this is three out of five, right? This is winners finals. Oh okay. yeah, this is winners finals. Three out of five here. Forty-nine. I know, no, not the year. Give me the nose. Come out of three out of five. <laughs> a little bit of Toy Story in there. Emma getting started playing on the defense, trying to keep the distance. Jet target in there. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Not quite. Probably really going for it. Or Emma going for it. Nice grab. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I have not yeah. Pretty good with those. Definitely one of his advantages. Definitely one of his super chats to help him get through this tournament. And it's tough because uh, we're top of the so quick. I'm dying. A lot of split decisions. It may not be as fast as some other fighting games, but there's still a lot of split second decisions. Right, that's right there. Getting that going into the air. Almost got the corner. Ooh, nice. Into a super. Those worms almost look like the uh, the leeches from Resident Evil Zero. I was gonna say the worms from Venom. When he does his whole. Oh, yeah. I was like, please don't be referencing the movie. No, no, no. That movie was not good. I mean, it was okay. At least it didn't make me angry that I watched it, like Suicide Squad of Batman and Superman, but Venom made me go, so uh, made me go. We're, we're totally ignoring what we should be doing. We're talking about movies instead of doing our jobs, which is actually commentating on this match, which so far, Jet has a good start. A really good start. Oh, man. Another combo to a spider web. The wall. Yeah, he's gonna get us up here. He's been, he's been, I think he's been sitting the tiny line. Nice yeah. Ah, uh, it's not enough though. Are we gonna see a perfect game here? I think he's not tight. Oh man, yeah, we can do it. I was wondering if he was gonna kill us. Okay. One round apiece. See how this goes. Jack's got to start off with the spider web. Really useful. Oh. Emba uh, with a nice grab right there. Both of them are going all out. Really using, really using their meter in special as well. Nice recovery. Oh, shoot. Okay. Alright. I got it. Yeah. Ah, uh, that recovery is that Oh, but that super was good timing. Good reversal there. Not sure about that one. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. Woo! Alright. <laughs> Check it out, the, the uh, letters are SP. Anybody got a Game Boy Advance around here? Well, this is a game shop. I'm sure there's an SP somewhere if I look closely. What I really would love to find is a Sega Genesis, though. I, I love Sega games a lot. Yeah. About to say he's both pulling a total Mega Man there. <laughs> With the slide. Yeah. Man, I really got him. Man. I think, I think Jet has finally really figured out Emma's general strategy and the timing of a lot of our moves. Just not giving him a chance. Oh man, uh, bad timing on that super. Oh, 
But he's not gonna save him, but he's got a major uh, Nope. Nope. That's not fucking a deal. It just comes out so quick, but at close range, it's like, yeah, we well, don't have to worry about it. You're gonna get blown up for it. Them buttons. Them buttons, alright. Spider guy, spider guy. Never, never know spider guy does. Uh, I don't think it's gonna help much though, because Jet's got it. Oh man. Really sending that combo. Got the good hits. Blocks the super, yeah. Jet damage is not very high uh, here in units, which is kind of interesting. It's weird but kind of refreshing, I think. Oh. Yeah. 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 Which is really one of my problems with a lot of modern fighters, like Dragon Ball especially, it's just so aggressive that as somebody that... Oh man. Sheesh. So Jet will... Oh wait, no, it's best out. It's best 3 out of 5. Yeah, best 3 out of 5. You get to play a little longer. As somebody that finds... I think there are some, a lot of times when you're starting out, you just want to do like every super move you can, but then you kind of learn how fun, for, for some players, not all of them, but there are some that just really thrive in defensive play. Right. I find it's more fun to play defensive, especially when you get that, that tension you get when you have a serious match going on. Right. It's a feeling that's hard to replicate. I think it's the reason why I am fighting for the fucking oh, nice, that was... Got that spider web. She really knows how to use that. Well, not just use it, but take advantage of it. Yeah, rather than jumping up for it, wait for him to fall. That was a pretty good idea. Ah, got the corner. Uh, Emma's gonna have to do a lot to out. Oh, nice. Nice strong attack right there. Yeah, got the super. Oh, the super fast! Shoot! He's coming out of the one of them. He's got the worms out. Really good block there for Jet. Spider guy, spider guy, does whatever a spider guy does. Hashtag Spider Man for second. Oh man, really good slide into the web, waiting for him to come down. Oh man, another slide into a wet combo. I just really just bread and butter. He's getting very far. Right. Somebody's gonna have to find a way to get around that. Oh my god! Is that gonna? Be, oh my god! Is that gonna be it? Oh man! Oh, let's give him a hand, give him a hand, give him another hand. Oh, he doesn't quite finish with a perfect. Oh, and he doesn't finish with a perfect, but still, do you see that? Emma's really going to play. Emma's really got to play it cool. Really got to play it cool. Ah. Oh, he's got a nice start. She pulls off a Jimmy God attack. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Oh, man, don't come back. Please, that was awesome. Oh, oh, that man. Oh. That was so good though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's like one skill that I respect anybody with the mental fortitude to keep going even when they have almost no health. Right, yeah, absolutely. That's also the most hype moments of any fighting game when someone can make a comeback like that. Alright, you got your next game? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's me next. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Alrighty. Zero's back out. But to continue what I was saying, that thrill of like when you're in the middle of an intense match, it's like a tension that's very hard to find. It's probably why fighting games and horror games are my two favorite kinds of games, because they just create that feeling like in your chest, like you know something big is about to go on. Different In different ways, of course, but it's still a lot of fun. Well, if you're into that sort of thing. So we got Dane versus Zero. Ah, uh, this is going to be... I'm going to be honest, guys. It's going to be hard for me not, to not be biased, because... Okay, I've been, I just met Zero today, and he's a cool dude, but I've known Dame for a long time. He's one of the dudes that helped me get into the competitive fighting game scene back home in Columbus. But I'm going to try my hardest to be to be fair. So they're just going to check in buttons, check in levels. I would rap the song, but I cannot remember the words off the top of my head. All I can say is, hey, pop, cool, can I tighten up my snare or something? For any POD fans out there, do a quick button check to make sure it's good. Check, 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 check it, check it out. What, 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 what's it all about? Work, 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 work. Hey, let's turn this really crazy game out. Alrighty, so it looks like they're playing their signature characters with Dane on the left, 
Zero on the right. Chaos versus Akatsuki. This is. I don't know much. I don't know that much about this, anyways. Alrighty, so we're gonna get things started. Okay, so he tries to get a good start. Okay, knocked out, knocked out Ozzy right from the beginning. And boom, he gets a nice combo started. Bring out some strong attacks to get to the air. Misses. Looking for the and there we go. Ozzy was out, but he got a good hit. This is definitely a foot. This is definitely a game of footsies, y'all. Definitely a game of footsies. Nice patience on zero. Leaves him getting something really great. He's got Dane in the corner. Oh, but Dane gets around and then uh, zero into the corner. Oh, man. Oh, man. Nice combo there with Ozzy. Oh. Zero finds a way to get back. Not quite. Not something there. I think the thing is, one of the best players at home of back in Columbus, uh, Super Light from CG. He is an Akatsuki player, so I have a feeling Dane seriously knows this advantage, knows this matchup, and he's probably going to be able to use that advantage. But even with that, Zero's oh man! Zero's you know, got a health advantage now, got a nice super, ooh, nice recovery for Dane, good back dash, he's always up. He's to get back in there. Still not quite nice in terms of health. Okay, now he's got a slight advantage. About 22 seconds on the clock. He's an Ozzy to get in those hits. Oh, nice teleport, he's got him sandwiched. Uh, I'm trying to distract him, but there we go. That was close. Wouldn't be surprised if we got a timer scam at some point here. Dane got a nice start. Watch him to the air. Gets a combo off of it. Even in the flow. Almost got him into the corner. Alright, now he's got him in the corner. And he's got Ozzy. Nice strong attacks right there. Zero is already down to half health. And not only that, Dane has a serious meter advantage. He's got full meter. And Zero's starting to make something. But he doesn't have nearly as much meter as Dane does. Okay, nice sandwich there. Ah, uh, didn't really make anything out of it though. Uh, good combo with Ozzy. Knock him into the air. Looking for a good moment. Ozzy, he's really using Ozzy to keep him on edge so he can get it. Oh, but it doesn't quite work. Nice start from zero. Dane, oh, Dane's got something. Oh, super. Doesn't hit the entirety of it, but it's pretty darn close. Oh, man. Oh, nice jump from Dane. He's got, he's got the defensive moves going, which are definitely going to be necessary against Akatsuki. Without a doubt. Nice counter. Alrighty. First game goes to Dane. Now, reminder, this is loser's semifinals, not loser's finals. So it is still two out of three. So this could be over quickly, or it could not. Uh, yeah. This video is not, despite seeing the pack, we are, this video is not sponsored by Five Gum. <laughs> I bet Dane wishes he was sponsored by Five Gum, though. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being sponsored by Red Bull. But let's not worry about sponsorships, let's worry about the next match. Is Zero gonna be able to find a way to get back? Not at the start. Ooh, man, really good combo going. Knocked into the air. Following it up with Chaos. Nice jump. Uh, ooh, nice dodging of that. Nice dodging of that combo. Yeah, I think Dane is really starting to figure out some of Zero's uh, particular combos like on Suki. Uh, got a nice start. Got him up in the air. Ooh, man, Ozzy really up in the Oh, crap. Dane's got him in, Dane's in the corner. But it almost looks like it's intentional. Not going to help him out much, though. Unless he use like, a quick dash or something to get out of it. Zero's got him at the wall. Playing some major damage. Oh, nice grab. Got him backwards. Using Ozzy to get a nice... Oh, that's super, though. And a grab. I think Zero's... Zero's finally more fun the way to get in. He's got Dane in, the, in serious trouble. Or not. Not close. Alrighty. Keeping it going. Got a nice flow started. Dane just trying to keep it at a distance. Works out well in his favor. Got a combo started. Uh, had a bit of a sandwich. Didn't do too much with it. Uh, but a nice combo with Gauzy. Good use of a super. Already got zero down to half health. Zero's gonna have to find a way to get past the dog if he wants to get in. And he does. Ah, uh, didn't get much out of it though. Dane's gonna have to hold. Oh. Nice super, nice dash back. Nice defense. He did take a hit, but he was able to find the right time to just jump out at it. Oh man, a bit of a trade, not exactly. Ah, I think Zero's really trying to start to be on the defense. He's getting a good combo there. Ah, good grab, got him in the corner. 
If he can make something out of this, he could take the round. He's got a start. It was super. Dane recovers though. Oh, not enough. And Zero takes the round. So Zero could be making a comeback. If he wants this next round, it'll be one one. Uh, Dane, I don't think he's letting him have it. Except for at that moment. Uh, nice combo from Zero. Oh, nice. Really knocking him back into the corner. Dane's gonna have to find a way to get out, but we're not gonna shoot these in the corner. That's gonna be the strongest without a doubt. Oh, man. I think Dane's just trying to keep him in the corner. Looking for a good opportunity to get in. Uh, nice knock. Nice knock against the air. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, it's pretty, I'd say it's about even. Zero definitely has a health advantage, though. A good super could change that. Oh, man. Nice combo. Both players. Yeah, nice super. Uses Ozzy to take the damage. I'm trying to get something in there. He does get something in there. Oh, got him trapped in the corner. Uh, Ozzy's out, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. Nice two things. Zero's got a good combo. Drifter gonna be happy. Drifter's gonna have to find a way to get back. Gets makes a sandwich out of back of Suki. Um, but it doesn't work as Zero takes a game. Okay. Okay. So we are currently at one game apiece. The winner gets to move on to the losers finals, while the loser has to go and just have some pizza or something. I don't know. The, the pizza here at Gaming Adventures is really darn good, by the way. I know I already mentioned that, but the pizza's good. I mean, not quite, like, come here for the pizza, but, you know, you won't be mad that you can't bring your own food in when you have it. Let's put it that way. Alrighty. Bring on the absolute chaos. With the lizard versus the blitz motor. Oh man. Zero tried to get something right at the start, but I think Dane is ready for it. Gets a good grab. A nice attack, nice follow up. Okay. Dane using, uh, using Ozzy to keep Zero out of distance. Worked for a bit. Zero found a way to get in. Does, doesn't mean enough though. Oh! Doesn't really know enough. Oh shoot, Dane's in the corner. Oh, he's not in the corner. Just not put uh, Zero on the corner. Okay, both are about even. Zero has a slight health advantage. Okay, I think it's about even now. Uh, Zero got a good one there. Nice grab. Knocking Dane back. He's really playing aggressive. I'm with the There's some meters there. Can really help out. Dane almost has enough for a super. Don't know if he's to get. He's stuck in the corner, but he's still a Ozzy. He can still pull off the super if he needs. He's got a set. He made a sandwich. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is a nice counter. Goes for it. Gets out of the corner. Good idea. Starts a nice combo. Zero recovers out of it. Up, oh, but he's got him. We're at match point. Zero at the advantage. Is Dane going to turn this into a deuce? We shall see. Uh, both players just trying to keep each other out, keeping each other at a distance until they can get in. Uh, okay, Zero really got something going. Got Dane in the corner. Ah, oh, man. Nice cover cutter. Nice knock. Greg gets past the recovery. He really has things going. Okay, Dane used the bail off. Helps him get out. But it's not going to be enough. Oh, nice super with Ozzy. Made a bit of a sandwich there. Not quite enough, though. Not quite. Got him again there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now he's got something rolling. Oh, we really had something rolling. Zero is stuck in the corner. Ozzy keeping him there. If Dane plays his cards right, he can keep Zero in there. Zero. Okay, Zero sandwich in the corner. Uh, Tech, he's got a bit of space. Dane has the health advantage. But at the same time, I think one good combo from Zero could really do something. And this could be that one good combo. Oh, it's not. Oh, that could be the one good combo. Oh! And Zero moves on. Woo! That was a crazy match. I think that last round could have gone either way, but in, in the end, Zero got that one good combo he needed. Oh, man. So Zero will be playing again.
Man, uh, I'm just gonna go get some water and then I'll commentate some more. I'll be back in a second, everybody. I gotta go get some water. Alright folks, I'm going to do what I can to keep up with the commentary while we get Losers Finals underway and our main commentator is no longer in. Jeff? Alright, they shake hands, they are ready to go. So, just to remind everybody, this is Loser's Final, which means uh, this is a 3 out of 5 situation. Whoever wins this one goes on to fight uh, Jet M in Grand Final. Right now, Zero coming out super aggressively against Emba. Got him in the corner, definitely making sure that Emba cannot get the distance that Makaba thrives on. Oh, strong cross up, and we're far away again. Oh, we're coming in. Right now, we're playing at that safe range. Akatsuki really needs to get inside. Maybe hit a trade to start his assault, but Emba's being smart, not sticking around. Going in and out, providing lots of hits done for his own advances. Oh, oh that super kick. Oh, I don't think Zero got there in time. He might be in trouble himself now. But Emba does have that magic pixel. Any trade, any spare hit could spell disaster for Emba in this round. Of course, at this point, M Zero can just... Uh, oh, nice. Emma could just timer uh, scan, but he does not. He's a big enough chance in this game. Sorry, round two. Strong start from Zero. Definitely wants that life lead early. Puts Emba into the dirt with the overhead. Oh, the shimmy in and out. Nice grab once again. Coming in low this time. All right, realize he dropped his momentum. Let Zero, no, sorry, let uh, Emma do a couple unsafe things. Ooh, and that is a quick two rounds for Zero. Taking that first game. See Emba not exactly happy about it. Brewer James, thank you for the follow out there. We see you. All right. Oh, once again, Zero going in fast and hard on Emba. Pushing Merkaba into the corner here. Lots of Tatsus, lots of same pressure. Of course, you can't give Emba that opening. Ooh, I think there was a bit of a... Uh, Attempted some push block. Oh, nice rebuttal there from the jump in. Back into the corner. Overhead, keeping it safe. Oh, nice DP there. Oh, eats the super. And the follow up combos. 32, 3300 almost. Oh. But Zero is not done. He is undaunted. He wants this damage. Nice shimmy. Emba getting over it. Turning things around on him. Let's see if he can... Oh, nope. Oh, very nice strategy on Emma's part. Not getting eaten up by the DT. And Zero takes another round. Alrighty, y'all. Zero could be... We're in the loser's final, so remember, this is best three out of five. So, Zero, it's not quite match point, but Zero's got a series advantage. One game and one round ahead of Emba. A good combo there. Launched him into the air. Oh, the super went the other way. Oh, nice grab from Emba. Nice one right there. Okay, Zero doesn't recover right away. Might have been a smart choice to avoid that grab. Got something going. Super. Nice combo. Got him in the corner. Oh, 
And I bet Ian having it. Knock it back. Got a command grab. This could be in Emba's favor, unless Zero finds a way to get in. He's gonna have to really play defense, find a way to play defensively move forward, but he doesn't. Emma takes that round. Third claws. Oh man. That was kind of an interesting start. Uh, Emba's got a. Oh! Emba ha thought he had something with Zero. Knocked him back. It's really back and forth here at the moment. Emba has the advantage of being able to. when he's at a distance. But if Zero. But if Agatsuki's up close like this, he's in his element. Got him in the corner. Oh! But that's super no! Man, Emba saying, I ain't having it. Up. Man, both players are really good at saying, you ain't having it. This is a really back and forth game. You can tell these are two players of about equal skill, about equal skill really fighting to move on. Emba's got a health advantage. He can take this one. Uh, oh, not quite there. Oh, that, that whiff from zero almost could have meant death, but it didn't. He's trying to find a way to get in with playing defensively. Oh uh, man, 40 seconds on the clock. You can't really get a time. You really can't do that. Oh, there we go. Emma takes the next game. Alright, we're at one apiece so far. Oh man, Zero doesn't have his sunglasses on. He is in full concentration mode, wants no distractions whatsoever. Makes me one I mean makes me wonder how Sonic Fox got so good at playing in, a, in his first suit. Probably just lots of practice. Kind of like the amount of practice it would take for Emba to pull off that Merkaba combo, which is a great way to start the match. Had to knock out about a fifth of his health. Zero. Oh, got him in the corner. Now, ah, pow, 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 pow. Nice. Oh, that was a nice tech. Oh, shoot. Zero's trying to take away that health advantage that Emba had. I think he finally did it. Got a slight advantage. Got him in the corner. Merkaba has meter. He uses it. Alrighty. Gets things going, nice grab. Ooh. At this point, man, nice grab. He's getting Zero into the corner. Zero tries to knock him back. Try doing his best to get in there. He's got enough meter for a super. He could try to pull it off. But at the same time, I think it's gonna take more than that to take out Emba here. Oh man, and it missed. Oh man. Zero's really gonna have to work for this one, especially since he is at the super magical pixel. But nope. Alrighty. First round goes to Emba. Uh, Zero's really just trying to get in. Emba is really been good at playing the distance game. Launching that super, using those long arms and those grabs to keep Zero out of his face. Which is needed because, like, as I mentioned time and time again, Akatsuki is killer up close. Like there. There we go. That sort of something. Super. Oh. Nice grab. Staying out of the corner. That's a good thing. Pretty good opportunity to land the pain. Okay. Both players about equal in terms of health. Just going back and forth. Okay, super didn't really work out. Emma's got less health for more meters, so a good, well played super could do it. But Zero might have this here. Oh, knocks him back. Will the fail, will the fail off have been worth it? Okay, Emma's got to start. He's keeping, keeping Zero in the corner. Just looking for the right opportunity to get in. Up, oh, no, man, that was a nice glide. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Nice fight. Pressure for it. If he can keep that up. Ah, both players. Okay. 17 seconds on the clock. This is pretty darn close. Oh, and Emba takes it. Emba has two games. He only needs one more to move forward. So if Zero wants to survive, he has to win the next one. Oh, no breaks, no changes in characters, no nothing. <laughs> It's, okay, Zero playing is a little different. He goes for the back dash, starts playing defensively at the beginning. Didn't really work out though. But as soon as he started going aggressive, Emba got something. Good combo. Oh, good recovery from Zero. Ah, still, oh man. He's almost down to half health. I think he is down to half health. I can't quite tell. Oh man. Zero got something, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Ah, Emba. Really has those grabs going. Nice play from the super. Gets him into the corner. 
one more good hit could do this. Hero's really in a tough spot here. Doesn't quite have enough energy for a super, but even if, then, if he whips it, he's in serious trouble. Up. Alright, looks like we are at match point. Bembo wins this round, he gets to go on. If Zero wins this, he has a chance to redeem himself. There's a projectile, didn't quite get it because Bembo was in the air. Back and forth, back and forth. Ah, and getting some good hits in there, trying to land a good combo. And trying to use everything he can, but Emma's defense is good. I think in terms of matchup, I think Emma definitely has the advantage here because I don't think many people, I think a lot more people fought Akatsuki than they have fought Merkaba, and they can use that to his advantage because he's been able to block a lot of Zero's best chains. I mean, maybe not in this round in particular, as Zero has the advantage, but at the same time throughout most of the match, Emma's, got, Emma's been able to guard a lot. Really been able to play patiently. He's a lot of mental fortitude and a lot of knowledge. Like that. Oh man, nice grab. Nice grab. Might be closing it. Oh, that was a whip. Shoot. Ah, uh, using a super for ship. Trying to go with that ship damage. <laughs> Looks like Rekava was doing push-ups right there. Emba's in a serious disadvantage. Oh, there we go. Zero might have a chance to redeem himself. All right, this is still technically a match point in Emba's favor, but if Zero can figure out something, it could be, it could be a deuce, essentially. Uh, did he go for the full up attack? That's a good thing. Probably would have been vulnerable. Emba launched the knife. Oh, man. Emba, oh, man, Emba's really going for it. That's a good combo there. Has Zero down to half health. And he himself is not taking a hit, not even any chip damage. Zero stuck in the corner. One more super, and a perfect win! Move Zemba forward. Woo! He is going on to the grand finals. Still a valiant effort by Zero, but in the end, Emba took it with his great Merkaba play. Knowing how to keep the distance, but then really going for it whenever he was stuck up close. Man. I think everybody's gonna need a breather after that, but it ain't over. What? Uh, who's up in Grand Finals? Jet, Jets won Winners Finals, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, this next match is gonna be Jet versus Emba. So this is gonna be fun to see how this goes. How you feeling, Zero? Feeling all right. That, th that was definitely, some, those were definitely some good games, man. <laughs> I was trying to figure that out. It's definitely a matchup I need to practice more. Yeah. I'm understanding a little bit better, so that was yeah. good. It was just... I, I will definitely say Emma was at the advantage because a lot of people play Agatsuki, so I think most people uh, yeah, know yeah, how to yeah. defend against That's his That's what chance. I was hearing about, yeah. Yeah. So. so once Jet gets up here, it's going to be Grand Finals. Oh, man. Here we go. Grand Finals. Three out of five. Win winner takes the 70. Winner takes the large chunk of the pot. The loser takes a little bit of the pot. Uh, how ironic, I'm saying that on 420. I do not condone sm uh, smoking pot at all. I will never do drugs because I know a good number of people that will kick my ass if I do. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's yeah. probably a good motivator to not. Yeah. What a grand finals this would be. Yeah. Yakuza. Yeah. There, the, uh, I gotta say, Yunus is one of those games that's never boring to watch. There, you know there are some fighting games you watch, and there's that occasional matchup where you're like, oh, this is gonna be so slow and so boring. But even when the game is defensive here, it's still just interesting to watch. There's still a lot going on on yeah. defense, for sure. As, as I said earlier, Yunus, I think, has the best balance of being flashy enough for people that aren't into fighting games because they're watching it, but it's not so flashy that you can't... Uh, you're, you're still follow it. Right. Even some hardcore fighting game players and fighting game creators, like even as Buddha said, he has had trouble watching fighters. <laughs> okay, right now they get into the action. Jet has a serious start here. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure. Nice, Jason. Got him in the corner. Exactly. Oh, man. Is he starting with a perfect? Oh my god, he is so close to starting with a perfect. Oh, he does his tug. Yeah, that was good tech. Oh, it's not gonna be a perfect. And was finding a way to go back. Oh, yeah, that's a good reversal right there. Yeah, yeah. Nice grab. 
I think this is basically going to be a matchup. Whoever can get a good start and can keep it, right. that's the big thing. And that's what I noticed with both of these characters. When they get a good flow going, it just it just really goes. It's like when you have two funk musicians on stage, and like once they find that perfect room, it's like yeah. you know the room's gonna be moving. Absolutely. First, first one goes to Jet. Now remember, uh, Emma technically has to win two matches because he's on the loser side. Right. So he has to. So Emma basically has to win two, three out of five, whereas Dust only has to win one. And it doesn't look like it's gonna take much effort. Jet's real. I call Jet Dust. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. They're both a part of Team Dust, so I mean, they're both representing their team. Yeah, they're definitely. Uh, Oh, yeah, what is it? Oh, oh man. That, oh my god, that is a, that's like a third of the health bar almost. Emma's in serious trouble. He's gonna have to make something happen if he wants to take it over Jet. Nice okay, slide. There we go. Got the start of something. Gotta miss the air. Oh man. Oh no. Not, yeah. Not quite at a, not quite equal in terms of health, but pretty darn close. Emma could find a way to start coming back. Up, oh, Jet's got something started. Oh, and here's Emmercaba. Nice. Emmercaba still had enough meter for a super, so if he had another super, he, he could have used it. But they're both starting with enough meter for a super. One round of peace. Nice with the spider web. Oh, nice attack. Oh, yeah. I honestly didn't think that was going to work, but it did. I just got to help manage. Getting something going. Yeah. Both are good at the, man, the lows game. Has been interesting. Both players really trying to get lows, but everybody's also going to be defending low pretty good, too. Oh. Uh, trying to do another one. Oh, nice super back. Emba ain't taking it. Nice grab. Wasn't, no, he's not able to pull you off that, but that's still... But it gives him enough space to figure out. You know, oh, man. All right, first game goes to Jet. Jet Thor. Jet, why is this called the, the Beef and Bell Pepper Special if there's no beef? Getting half the money for it. What happened to the two million we made in the last job? Deep cut references. Yes. <laughs> My sister actually did this amazing Spike cosplay at one point. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. You would forget that she's a girl if you saw that in her costume. Nice open down case here. Yeah. Already has him in the corner. Nice. Like I said, just whoever can get a good flow going first. And the Yaku is definitely the one that I'm like, worrying about, especially in the corner, because Nemba can kind of play the business game just take the time. Yeah. Whereas Jet, all the time, is in your face, gotta keep going, so I'm gonna set up. Yeah, pow, 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 pow. Up, and yeah, that's super. That one Wait, whoa! Oh, oh nice! Oh, oh, but he's still got a perfect oh, off of it. But that was careful with that. That was, that was crazy, though. Yeah. That was crazy. That was an odd moment. Emma, okay, I was about to say, Emma would be in trouble to see the game was in the corner, but managed to play it out. Grab uh, nice guarding there. I think Emma's finally starting to figure out some of the things that Jet does. Not that, though. Yeah, Jet's bread and butter has really been moving far. No yeah, he's got him in the corner, so he's got him in a good spot. Oh man, look at all, look at all that meter does that, or Jet has. He might not, he's not even gonna need it though. Oh yeah, he'll be uh, finish it down, that's oh. Yeah. So, so, Emma is in serious trouble. He would need to win five games in a row if he wants to take this. Still six games. No, oh, five, you're right, you're right, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. No, 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 no. No, 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 I think you're right. Six, yeah. No, yeah, he's down. He doesn't want any games. He so got he... me off the one round. That's where he got me. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was off. So he doesn't win six games in a row. I mean, it's possible. It's tough, but it's possible. 
Emma's just a very smart player about this, uh, like, how to play, so, it's not really worth helping out much, though, it has, it has, a ser has some serious combo going. Honestly, it's like, 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 Exactly. That's the problem. Like these characters, it's like it's like a boxer. Uh, if that flow gets cut off, you kinda have to start from scratch. Yeah. Is he gonna take is he gonna take it? Or will Emma say, ain't nobody got time for that? Oh, super at the start. Oh man. Gotta get grabbed there. But that that was definitely a waste of meter. Oh, he's still getting something. How did you save that though? Oh, Okay. Oh, he had him in the corner. Chet turns it around, puts him in the corner. Ah, uh, nice super. Ah. Uh, I think Chet's about to put him back in the corner. About to say that Merkava needs a timeout. Gonna pull this off the board. Watch the toes. Nice conversion here. This is nuts. He just, just knows what he is doing. He knows how to get good flow. It's like, it's one thing to know that you can do a combo as long as that, but to be able to execute it, that takes fortitude, knowledge, and practice. Oh, it's not looking good here. We'll be able to uh, uh, activate Oh, Jet uses his meter. That's a super. Almost it. He could have it. Oh, nice, nice comeback there from Chad. I mean, for Dustin Peppa, I mean, oh. Nice job for Jet. So Jet first, takes it. Yeah, first place going to Jet. Second is Emba. Yeah. Third is myself. Yeah. That was still pretty good though. Man, those were some good matches. Absolutely. But we ain't done yet, everybody. Now that we're done, now that we're done with Eunice, next up will be Soul Calibur 6. Soul Calibur? Okay, cool. Yeah. Definitely stay tuned for that. I'm not playing in that one, but definitely. I, I'm playing in that one. Maybe you'll see me playing. Good luck. I guess uh, this is my opportunity to go uh, get a bite to eat. Yes, go definitely get some food. I think Thank you, you need it after all those matches. <laughs> well, Thank you, everybody, that tuned in. Uh, I'm Zero. You can follow me at Zero Syndicate on Twitter. I'm putting that plug in there. And don't forget to follow uh, Matchstick Melee as well. Give them a sub while you're at it, too. Yeah. Help them out. Uh, Give them a sub. Donate something. I mean, it takes, look, it takes a lot of gas money to shove around all this equipment in his car. Yeah. Help him with the fuel, everybody. Absolutely. Anything you want to plug while you're here? This video is sponsored by AIR. <laughs> I bet Matt's really sick of me making that joke by now. Alright, I'm gonna go uh, get a grab. Like yeah, and I'll be playing Soul Calibur soon, so we'll see y'all later, but stay tuned. Yeah.